Good morning, uh, my name is Erika and I'm a solution engineer working in e-commerce. Before I worked in solution engineering and I wanted to move uh, towards the tech industry, I honestly could not find any resources explaining what a solution engineer does. I remember hearing about solution engineering first from a friend of mine who was already working in tech and he kept telling me that he thought I could make a good solution engineer, but I didn't know what that means and the fact that the word engineer and I don't have a background uh, in engineering, was a bit daunting. Can I really become a solution engineer if I don't have a degree in engineering? That's what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to try and demystify um, the role of a solutions engineer and talk a little bit about what the salary is, what the skill set is, what is the career path um, in solutions engineering, and then um, what does it take to become a solution engineer? So can you do it? I hope it um, answers all your questions and definitely the questions I had before I started. So a solutions engineer um, is mainly a term that is used in the world of SaaS, um, which is um, software as a service. Uh, mainly it's companies selling software to other companies, right? So in the world of business to business, software as a service. So a solution engineer in SaaS is responsible for supporting the sales team by developing and presenting various solutions to customers. So what that means in practice is that um, what are SEs, effectively solutions engineers, they need to understand the customer needs uh, and their challenges, and then they need to come up with solutions with a plan that will fit their specific needs. That also means that solutions engineers mainly work in sales, uh, there are also solutions engineers that works after uh, the sale is made, but today I will be focusing on uh, what is called the pre-sales or effectively um, software sales. Solutions engineers also need to be ex to be able to explain features and benefits of the product that they're selling, give technical demonstrations uh, and presentations about the product, and also at the end help the salesperson to close the sale. Solutions engineers also work closely with other departments, uh, for example, product managers, uh, in other engineers to understand more about the product, influence the product roadmap, create practical demonstrations, so a demo or a proof of concept that uh, potentially requires someone like an engineer to go and, uh, and do the code and build the proof of concept. Um, and also showcase that to, to other uh, members of the uh, sales team. Finally, I would say a skill that solutions engineers need is industry knowledge or at least staying up to date with what's happening in that specific industry and their products, so the latest technologies. As you can see, a solutions engineers is a pretty rounded uh, profile and it's a profile that combines sales or customer relationships, talking to clients, talking to people with technical knowledge and product knowledge. Of course, depending on the industry where you work, technical and product knowledge and industry knowledge will be completely different. So for, in my case, I work in e-commerce. So product would be, I need to know the platform that we are selling. I need to know the industry of e-commerce and what are the main challenges and problems and trends of the industry. And also, I need to understand some of the common aspects of um, the product I'm selling. In my case, it would be, for example, APIs, web technologies, payments, etc. So, again, every, in every industry, you will have slightly different requirements, but the main concepts remain the same, which is, as a solution engineer, helps the salespeople close the sale and works with clients to act as a product expert and industry expert to find solutions to the problems that they're trying to solve. It's very confusing when you're looking for a job as a solution engineer because there are so many other ways this role can be called and this can be a, a bit daunting at the beginning. So the solutions engineers called, uh, can also be called sales engineer, can also be called pre-sales engineer, solutions consultant, pre-sales consultant, but also other names like business analyst, um, application expert it really depends on the industry and what i would what i would suggest doing if you're interested in this role go and look uh, at the specific job requirements and try and understand if you can find some commonalities with what i just described let's now take a look at what is the salary of a solution engineer so depending on the specific company the salary may be made up of base salary and 
commission. So that's typical commission on sales, which can be driven by individual performance, team performance, or um, company performance. Now, every company is a bit, little bit different. In my case, uh, I have a 90-10 split. So I have 90% is my base pay, uh, my salary, and then 10% is a commission. Uh, in that case, uh, it's not too driven by individual performance, but it's more of a general you know, team performance and uh, company performance. Again, this can uh, vary widely depending on the company. Some companies I know they will give you a much higher percentage in commission. Um, some others will give you just base salary. So it really, really depends. But typically, I would say maybe you have a 70-30% or a split or um, a 80-20. But this is quite common in the industry. Now, let's look at salaries. Again, this is a really tough one because it will depend on the industry. Um, you can be a solution engineer in many different industries, in fintech, in e-commerce, in marketing technology, etc., etc. So again, every industry pays in a little bit of a different way. If we look at Glassdoor, I'll give you a little bit of averages. Solutions engineers are very well paid um, in, I would say, in the industry. It's a role that requires technical and business knowledge, and it's not easy to find people that have such a uh, you know, mixed profile. So it, it tends to be, uh, I would say, pretty well paid. Now, looking at Glassdoor, it looks like the average pay for a solution engineer, and we look now at career path, this is more entry level, so I would say between zero and two years of experience would be around £65,000. That's quite a lot, I would say. It's a pretty great salary and definitely above the national average by even the London average. Now, the minimum can be 41 and the maximum is 100 k Now, based on my experience, again, a lot of variations. I would say 60, 65 is probably a good, a good average. Probably between 55 and 70 um, is, a, is a good range, uh, especially in the London area. But again, I would highly suggest speaking to people that work in that company, work in that vertical, so that you can bet, get a better sense of what the salary would be. So how do you become a solution engineer? And most importantly, it's a question I had as well. How much technical knowledge do, is required? Do you need to be a developer to become a solution engineer? Now, the great answer is absolutely not in most cases now there are still some roles uh, some industries where the role of a solution engineer is still extremely technical and extremely hands-on so it will really require you to dive into the code to potentially build a demo from scratch meaning actually code um, the the demo from scratch or code specific applications from scratch now, in my experience, I would say the majority of solutions engineers do not need to code and do not code every day. Some people like to do it and it's their passion and they can incorporate it in their job and, and definitely can become part of the job. But it's absolutely not required to become a, a great solutions engineer. In my experience, the things that matter, um, you need to have a passion for technology. So you need to be willing to dive into technology, understand technology. Even though you're not writing code from scratch, you need to be savvy with technology. Again, that doesn't mean you need to have been an engineer, but that means that, for example, in the case of web technologies, you need to understand how a page works, uh, what is page speed, how, uh, you know, how IP addresses work, uh, the topic of security. Maybe in my case, you know, how payments work. But again, the level of technical knowledge will depend on the role, but mostly it's not, you don't need to be a coder and you don't need to be a developer to become a solution engineer. And then finally, how do you become uh, a solution engineer? I want to share my, my personal story. So I have a background in business. The university, I studied business, I studied management, and then I got an internship uh, in London in finance. Uh, but I was lucky enough to actually work in a department where we were effectively selling uh, a software to other banks. In that case, I used my you know, first couple of years of experience to really learn about technology. I was already passionate about technology. I remember when I was at university, I used to go to you know, JavaScript boot camps, participate to hackathons. It was a passion of mine. I wasn't 
honestly particularly good at coding or I didn't really study coding, but I liked to work with developers. I like to work with designers. I like to understand how you build an app and how you can market an app. So that was something I really liked. And then during my job, I got the chance to explore that a little bit more. So I became a little bit more technical. I started working with APIs. I started working with databases and really started understanding, okay, but why, how do companies choose technologies? I worked with clients. And so I started creating this mixed profile between technology, uh, but also client work. So really selling, um, selling a platform understanding people's needs and requirements and understanding whether they are possible, what the limitations are, and really finding creative solutions to um, deliver that, uh, that software. And when I was looking for my next challenge, I, I understood that I had a pretty um, precious set of skills, right? I love talking to clients. I have these, you know, emotional intelligence skills. Um, I like listening to people, but I also love thinking and researching and reading documentation and understanding how things work and also using you know creativity to find new solutions to problems, design new workflows, new processes. So solution engineering is what allowed me to combine my two sets of skills. If you're interested in understanding more what a typical day looks like in solution engineering and you know, what I actually do in my job, let me know and I'm happy to do a separate video uh, on that. I really hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope it definitely answered some of the questions you may have. So if you're looking to move into tech, uh, I've actually created uh, a free guide, which is the exact process I used in order to figure out what to do when I was looking to transition from finance into tech. You can, yeah, you can use my process if you want. It's a free guide. You can download it down there. I hope it's useful and I hope it helps you uh, bring your career to the next level. See you in the next video.